Today, I'm going to show you how to create Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. To make our Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder, we will need one glass bottle, and I'm using a little bit taller cylinder one that has a cork on the top, but it also comes in a slightly smaller size as well. Either one will work fine. It just depends on how much of the Peruvian powder you want in there. And ours is going to be more of a rock form, just like it is in the movie. Um, so with that, we are going to need some lava rocks. So these are just standard red or orange lava rocks, and I picked these up at um, Home Depot. And you can find them at, like, any home improvement store, usually in the garden section, or sometimes with the grilling supplies. I'm also going to put a link in the description down below where you can buy these. Then we are going to need some paints. So we are going to use the Black Flash Color Shift Acrylic Paint. And it kind of goes back and forth between a black and a gold. And then we are going to use the Blue Flash Color Shift Paint. And this goes kind of between, like, a teal, bluey, purple color. Um, then we're going to use some standard gold metallic acrylic paint and some blue metallic acrylic paint and this is more of like a cobalty blue it's it's not quite royal and it's it's not um navy it's it's a little bit more cobalty and then you can either use the extreme glitter acrylic paint like i have here which dries clear and it already has black glitter in it or you can use Mod Podge and add your own glitter. Now, we are going to add glitter to this. Um, I just like that it starts out with a base that already has glitter incorporated in it. So um, we are going to add some more of the black glitter to it. And then we're also going to add an iridescent black that almost has a navy quality to it. Um, because it's got those metallic opalescent features to it. And then we're going to add some regular sized black glitter. This is not the large, this is the regular. Those are extra fine, and this is just the standard. If you go large, it's a little bit too large, and you can see it, and it, it makes your um, Peruvian and Seductress powder look cheap. So make sure you use the standard size, or just use a whole lot of extra fines. So you might decide to do a couple coats of it. Then we're going to need some paintbrushes, and our labels printed on sticker paper, and the link for these is in the description down below. Let's get started. To take our basic lava rock to the Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder, the biggest thing we're going to need is the paint. So we're going to first start with the Black Flash Acrylic Paint, and we're going to paint the entire rock and let it dry. Then we're going to go back in with little bits of the Blue Flash, the Blue, and the Gold Acrylic Paint, and we're going to just kind of blend them in so then that way it gives it more of a three-dimensional quality and gives a little bit more depth and interest because it's not just the black color. And feel free while painting this to use some latex gloves um, or anything like that. I'm just going to use the gloves because we're going to be picking it up and rolling it and it can get your hands really messy. Um, and I just like to use the glove because I feel like I get a little bit less paint transfer. I feel like my hands somewhat pick up a little bit more paint than the actual gloves do. So if you see a gloved hand in here, that's why. As you can see, once we get all of the paints on there, we get a really great look to it that's kind of got a little bit of that oil slick look um, and gives it that proven instant darkness powder feel. Now, the only thing that's missing is the glitter, so that's where we're going to go ahead and glitter this up so it sparkles and shines. 
Okay, so when it comes to our gl glitter layer, we're going to start with that paint that already has the glitter in it. Or again, you can use a glossy Mod Podge and get the same feel and just add more glitter. And then we're going to take our standard black glitter and add some of that. And then we're going to add some of our opalescent black glitter. And then we're going to add just a little bit of the larger black glitter. And then we're just going to take our brush and mix it all together. Once our glitter's mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and paint it onto our rock. And now we'll let this dry, and as I said, it will dry clear and just leave the glittery effect. Okay, so while our rocks are drying, I'm gonna go ahead and finish embellishing our bottle. So um, first I'm gonna take my label. So just like normal, I have printed our labels on sticker paper, and I like to make them have a little bit more of a finished look by going around the edge with a matching marker. So in this case, it was just a black Sharpie, but I have not done this end yet. Let me see if I can get this to focus so you can see that. So all I'm going to do is take my black Sharpie and I am just going to go around the edge and I do this on all of my labels. So if it's a brown, pink, purple, whatever it is, I just take the matching marker and go around the edge just so then that way you don't get that harsh white edge that you um, can sometimes get with the way these get cut out. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take my um, sticker and peel the backing label off, and then we are just going to put it around the top of the bottle here. And now we're going to take our Weasley Wizard Wheezes little star. And we're just going to place it on the top of the cork. Okay, so now that our rock is dry with the glitter, I'm going to show you this. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see all of the different colors that are in there and the really great sparkle that we get. But it definitely gives us that instant darkness powder look from the movie. Okay, so in the Half-Blood Prince, when the uh, Weasley twins are showing Harry the Proven Instant Darkness powder, if you look really closely at the display, they also have some larger Proven Instant Darkness powder that is wrapped in a gold shiny um, packaging. So I'm going to also show you how to do that. So I did paint a large lava rock with the exact same method as we did the smaller one. I don't know if you guys can see all the different colors that are in there and the shimmer and shine. But we are going to also wrap this like they have it in the movie. So um, to do that, you will need a larger lava rock painted like the other ones. You will need some gold mylar tissue paper, some black ribbon, and you will need our label printed on sticker paper. And we are going to fold this in half, stick it on itself, and make it a tag. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take the backing paper off of our tags and we are going to stick them together. And as soon as you get it together, if there's anything that's not perfect, you can trim it. And then go around the outside edge with your Sharpie just to give it a nice cohesive look. 
and then punch a hole in the top. And then all we're going to do is take our mylar silver and gold tissue paper, lay it out, place our darkness powder in the middle, and wrap it up. And then we have our wrapped piece of Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. And there you have it, our Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. Handy if you need to make a quick getaway. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much. Thank you.